I really wish I knew this before making the transition to a vegan diet. Nobody told me what to expect, and although now I don't regret switching to a plant-based diet, the first two, three weeks were the worst. Let me share with you what happened so you can prepare in advance and not make the same mistakes I did. When deciding to go vegan, you're only thinking about the wonderful things that will happen with your body and your health. But no one talks about the dark side of giving up your diet full of steaks and dairy and eggs and all the other goodies. No one tells you about the nutritional imbalances and nutrient deficiencies you can experience or the digestive discomfort. Oh boy, the discomfort. Or what happens with your energy levels and stamina. And if these weren't enough, you also have to deal with emotional and psychological adaptation, take into consideration the social implications, and deal with family members who will 100% taunt you and tease you by eating steak and juicy burgers in front of you. True story. So what can happen during the first two or three weeks of going vegan, and what should you expect? First, let's talk about the digestive issues. A diet rich in meat, dairy products, and empty carbs such as bagels, pasta, and white bread is poor in dietary fiber. On the other hand, plant-based diets are typically rich in fiber, which can be quite a shock for your stomach and intestines. The sudden increase in fiber intake can cause bloating, gas, and abdominal discomfort. The gut needs time to adjust to the higher fiber load, and gradually incorporating fiber-rich foods can mitigate these issues. Your body also needs to adjust to the new food sources. Adding unfamiliar plant-based foods may lead to temporary digestive disturbances. Some people may experience mild food intolerances until their digestive system adapts to the new ingredients. During the first week, you will experience fatigue and weakness, and you'll feel like you've been hit by a train the whole day. That's because your calorie intake drops. Plant-based foods tend to be lower in calorie density than animal products, so it's essential to ensure adequate calorie intake from nutrient-rich sources. This feeling can also be caused by not sufficient protein. Protein is vital for muscle function and overall energy levels. If you are not well informed about plant-based protein sources and fail to include a variety of protein-rich foods in your diet, you may experience temporary feelings of weakness. If you turn into an angry mama bear protecting her cubs whenever you crave a cookie, then you're in for a wild ride because you will experience withdrawal symptoms. You will experience cravings for the non-vegan foods you used to enjoy. This can be especially challenging during the first seven days, but cravings usually subside as the body adapts to the new diet. And don't be surprised if you find yourself switching from feeling happy about your decision to feeling frustrated, depressed, and back to happiness the next minute. It is completely normal when you're making a drastic change to your eating habits. Now let's talk about vitamin deficiencies. If you start feeling anemic, fatigued, and stressed, it's because your vitamin B12 levels are low. Vitamin B12 is primarily found in animal products, and vegans may be at risk of deficiency. Lack of B12 can lead to anemia, fatigue, and nervous system issues. Supplementation or fortified foods are recommended to address this concern. You should also pay attention to your iron and calcium levels. You might start feeling dizzy, especially when you stand up quickly, or start getting muscle cramps in your legs. That's because plant-based sources of iron and calcium are not as readily absorbed as animal-based sources. It's essential to include foods high in these nutrients and pair them with vitamin C-rich foods to enhance absorption. Your mental clarity can be affected as well, and you may experience brain fog. The brain relies on various nutrients to function optimally. Such nutrients are omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA and DHA, which are typically found in fish and seafood. In the first two or three weeks of transitioning to a vegan diet, you may experience temporary brain fog or changes in mental clarity as the body adjusts to different nutrient profiles. You may need to be mindful of including plant-based sources of omega-3, such as flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts, or consider algae-based supplements. Your blood sugar levels can fluctuate while the body adapts to the new vegan lifestyle, so if you are diabetic or know to have issues with your blood sugar levels, you should be aware of this. A plant-based diet often includes a higher proportion of carbohydrates from fruits, vegetables, and grains. And high quantities of carbohydrates can lead to fluctuations in blood sugar levels as the body adapts to the new dietary pattern. To mitigate blood sugar swings, it's essential to focus on consuming complex carbohydrates, which provide a more sustained release of glucose into the bloodstream. Balancing meals with adequate protein and healthy fats can also help stabilize blood sugar levels. Now it's time to talk about the most important effect you'll experience when starting a vegan diet. 
especially during the first three to four weeks, there is a high possibility of weight loss. Plant-based foods, such as fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains, tend to be lower in calorie density compared to animal-based products. This means that you might consume fewer calories on a vegan diet, and that leads to weight loss. And it's not just the lower calorie intake. Plant foods also have a thermic effect on your body. Those high in fiber and protein have a higher thermic effect, meaning they require more energy for digestion. This can slightly boost metabolism and contribute to weight loss. The weight loss can be significant, especially if you are an active person who is used to working out three to four times per week. The key here is to be prepared for this and plan your meals ahead and not rely on vegan junk foods such as vegan ice cream, chips, and cookies. Overconsumption of these foods can lead to weight maintenance or even weight gain. There are a lot of changes that take place in your body when you start a vegan diet, and knowing what to expect helps you make the right decisions and make the whole transition smoother. That's why you need to watch this next video, which talks about what happens in your brain when you start a vegan diet.